What's good guys, I'm John the Chief and I'm here to bring you a quick little tutorial on how to get the legendary party starter in Dead Island 2. This is a legendary brass knuckles that does a ton of damage and is one of the earliest legendary weapons in the game that you can obtain. You need to have access to the pier and Ocean Avenue in order to obtain them. To start this off, you'll need to go to the Sterling Hotel in Ocean Avenue. From here on the bottom floor, you need to head to the bathroom by the far staircase. Inside, you will find a walker and you can kill him to get the quest Drunk and Disorderly. This is a lost and found quest which will be what leads you to the party starters. And this is the location right here for all of you who need to know where to go exactly on your map. From here, you're going to have to fast travel to Venice Beach, and you're going to be visiting two places. The first one is Rose's Tattoo Parlor, which is right outside the Crab Shack Fast Travel Point. It's a short distance away. Don't go to the tower, go to the crab. This will be your first destination. Inside, you're going to kill the zombies that you see and pick up the document. All the locations are simply finding a named zombie, killing it, picking up the item that he drops, and then you progress to the next area. This is the exact location for all of you who are wondering, by the way. Next, you got to go to Dr. Green's and kill Grant, and you're going to be repeating the process. This is the location for Dr. Greens and Grant. After visiting both locations, you have to arrive at Piers Grill at the boardwalk on the pier. Pick up the document at Piers Grill and then you're ready to kill Jordan. Once you have killed Jordan, you are ready to return back to Ocean Avenue. From Ocean Avenue, you're going to go to the underground parking lot of the Sterling Hotel and you will be finding a white SUV and in the trunk, you will find the Party Starters. The Party Starters unique legendary effect is going to be spitting fire. When you knock down or kill a zombie with a heavy attack, you gain a moderate ignite resilience boost and ignite nearby enemies. They also come locked in with a skill which is called Skilled, which gives you a moderate damage boost to heavy attacks and they charge up faster. Lastly is also locked for the Superior Melee Cremator mod which deals major fire damage. The theme and synergy for these weapons is to go for a lot of heavy attack damage and fire synergy. When you combine it with Contagious, that way, no matter what, my heavy attacks are going to be igniting nearby zombies. Whether I kill them, knock them down, or just damage them as long as they have the status effect, it's going to spread that fire effect to nearby enemies. This allows more consistency with mobbing and crowd control. These weapons are going to be really effective for most situations. Unfortunately, the main downfall of the party starter is that it has a small reach because it's a hand-to-hand -hand weapon. You can't have as much distance as you can say with a baseball bat or a katana, so you're going to be in more danger when you are using these weapons. In addition, you can't even throw them to stay safe at a distance. There are also a lot of fire resistant enemies as you get farther in the game, such as fire crushers, fire slobbers, and firefighter zombies. So it can be very situational at times. Fortunately, when these weapons are viable, they are extremely useful even for killing apex enemies as long as they do not have fire resistance. Hope all of you guys enjoyed the video and have a great day.